Hello, I'm Heather Gregg. I'm here to do the tag Tell Me the Truth. And it was created by Shannon's Bookish Musings and Music. Here are my answers. Yes, no, yes, no, some, no, both, watch. So I hope that was fast enough for those of you watching me at twice the normal speed. This is a tag that is asking us all about how we view, how we watch each other, how we connect and how we are carrying on this kind of communication. I'm going to start by tagging people. I would love to hear the responses to this tag. Some people have already responded and there is also some exciting people who have not yet got round to making their version of the tag. I want to make sure they continue watching this and that they're getting ready with their answers. And that is Kay Allen, Remembered Reads, Hannah's Books, Curtis Books and Books, Roy Reads Anything, Read and Reread, Scally Dandling About the Books, a Day of Small Things, Lindy's Magpie Reads, Pontus Presents, Bookins and Books, Jen the Librarian, Bookworm Adventure Girl, Heroine's Corner, Biblio Sophie, and Book In with Deborah. So keep watching. Also, if you want to do this tag yourself, please do. I think it's the whole community talking to each other. So, number one. Do your friends and family and co-workers know about Booktube? Have you told them? And do they watch? Well, Booktube is one of the biggest secrets. I keep telling people about it that I know love to read and they're always astonished. They're always, I haven't heard of this and amazed, amazed at the concept, astonished about it. So it is still continuing to be a secret, but I am doing my part. I am telling folks I'm on Booktube, I have a Booktube channel. Do they watch it? No. They have the real thing and not everybody is actually keen enough on books to look at videos talking about them. Strange to say. Some people don't even enjoy watching people holding books up to the screen and talking excitedly about them. And so they continue to miss out. Question two, do you watch the videos sped up? Well, I come from a country where everybody speaks at 300 miles an hour. And so for me, that's the kind of speed I'm used to listening at. And when people come along and they talk in a long, thoughtful way, I'm going to press that fast forward button to a quicker speed because then it's only catching up to the speed my mind processes at. You may need to watch me and slow it down, <laughs> especially when I get excited because the rate at which I speak is directly connected to the excitement I'm feeling about what I'm talking about. So the whole thing is relative. It's an interesting question. And also, if people don't edit themselves and simply turn on and press record and then talk, but aren't used to speaking in public, it becomes really hard to be concise. Um, it's something that I would try and prepare myself for, but I still usually edit my picture videos. Um, so people who can speak without editing are really rare. And if they're not used to either editing or mentally preparing and editing as they speak, then it becomes a very, very long video. And I think everybody's much more likely to press a slightly faster speed. Some people are responding to this tag actually said they sound better around about speed 1.5. So we're saying that ourselves. And I certainly am very happy for you to watch a video of mine at faster, lower, whatever, slower, whatever speed suits you and is communicating to you in the time you have to watch. Okay, third question. When I subscribe, do I watch all the people I have subscriptions for and I watch all of that person's videos? And the answer is life is too short. So I prioritise people who are already in conversation with me where I would leave a comment on their videos, they would leave a comment on mine and there's that sort of back and forth and interested in what that person is going to say. I will prioritise their videos to watch. And then I go by content. So I may not 
see and be in contact with somebody a lot. But if you have done a video on art, I'm going to watch it or things that are interesting to me. Sometimes people come up with a thoughtful meditation, considered response, thought on subject that is not what everybody else is talking about. And therefore it's valuable content. I'm interested and I will be much more likely to have a look. I think tags are actually a very interesting point here because if there's a good tag going around, I'm very likely to watch not only the people I'm subscribed to who have done this tag, of course you're going to get first attention, but also people who I haven't heard of before, I will be more likely to say, okay, I know what you're going to be talking about. Um, what are you going to do with that topic? What are you going to do with the same questions everybody else is dealing with? Question four. Do I watch videos from all my subscribers? Well, when somebody subscribes or leaves a comment, I am very likely to follow it up by saying, do they have a channel? And looking to see what it is. And from that, I will guess whether or not we have lots of interests in common, whether we're going to be talking about similar books and there's going to be a real conversation going on. But if I check up on you, you've made an interesting comment, but you don't have a channel I can subscribe to, you're not making videos, um, then I'll not be subscribing to you. As Book Time with Elvis said, it would look a bit creepy to follow somebody who wasn't actually um, making content. And I think it really is a case of that when, it, when somebody, when I look back to see somebody that has subscribed to me and I subscribe back to them and it's still an ongoing conversation and it's partly to do with content still. So if you, if I'm following you and you have reviewed, say, books on Westerns, I'm not going to be watching that video, even though I like you and we talk about other things, because Western books I know nothing about, I'm not particularly interested in. And so content is always important. Personality, connection and content are the ways I would choose to watch. And I used to wonder, somebody had said about how many people do you subscribe to? This was as part of a tag that was in the past. And I was astonished because people said hundreds and I was thinking, how do you find the time? And then I realised that, of course, people release maybe one video a week, which is roughly the rate I do. And so therefore you could have a huge number of potential videos to watch in any one day. But out of those, maybe the people I'm following the most with interest will be two people. Or, you know, it, it just becomes quite quick to look at the list of people you're subscribed to and, and say, hmm, today the ones that catch my attention are these. I'm beginning to sound very ruthless, aren't I? I don't know if anybody else is as ruthless in their choice of who to watch and so forth. But anyway, I'm being honest. This is the tell the truth tag. Question five. Do you watch based on content or personality? I watch based on content. Based on both, really, to be honest. But again, it's back to the old idea of if you're all about Western books or you're all about science fiction or you're all about um, fantasy, then there's a whole genre, there's a whole, it's a whole little mini world really, isn't it? You've got particular writers that you're keen to talk about and when you're talking about one book, you're talking about it in relation to the whole genre. So I think if you're extremely genre based, then from that I will pick whether or not to see you unless of course as I've said you are responding to a, a tag that we're all talking about and, and more general questions and obviously this means that I'm interested in things which most people aren't which is art and so there's probably a lot of people are going to look at my channel and equally say oh she's done another video by art I'm not interested and I'm not going to follow her or I generally follow her, but I'm not going to watch that video. And I think that's fine. I think that's the way it works. Um, and I'm happy being the receiving end of that kind of filtering. Because I think you have to have 
content and personality. I mean, no matter how much you love um, a particular person, you've seen them interviewed, they're fascinating, they're interesting, and then they write a book, you're not going to rush to the book and say, I don't care what they've written, it's this person. Um, you're more likely to look at it, take it seriously and evaluate it. There's that first moment of engagement, but you still have to have it proved to you that the book they've written, or in this case, the video that is going to be created, is worth watching is going to be something to engage with, it's going to be something I can respond to, I can contribute to and leave a message or a comment that is intelligent and responding to what's said and I think that's key to continuing the conversation is what level of comment are, are is left and I don't want to be the part to be somebody who's leaving a comment that's something like oh you've got such a cute necktie on or you know, something like that. I want to be responding to what the person is talking about with some degree of involvement and understanding and adding something to the conversation. And question six is, do I listen and look to booktube videos while doing other things? I don't. I may play you at a slightly faster rate, but you have my attention. I am watching and listening to you. I'm usually doing it as a treat, as a break from study. And I think that's an interesting thing because I know one person who was absolutely outraged that people would play a video at a, a higher speed but had them on in the background while they were doing their day's work. So who's paying more attention or are we both? And I think we both are. That I am playing at a faster rate, slightly, but... I'm doing nothing else but listening to you as to a conversation. So that's also paying attention as well. And if you think about it as being in a conversation, yes, in a normal person to person conversation, you can't fast forward somebody or would you ask them to speak faster? But on the other hand, it's manners to give them your full attention and not to be looking away and doing something completely different, you know, both are ways of giving attention and I think we all give attention in the way that we can to the best of our ability to those who are interesting to us. So if you would like to do this tag please do. I've tagged a whole lot of people at the start of this video. I hope some of them will reply because they're going to have interesting and smart things to say. This is my contribution to the conversation and I have just finished the tell me the truth tag. Your part is that you get to reply in the comments below and also I hope you will make your own. Even if you have to start a booktube channel just for the purpose of making a response or taking part. Bye for now.